Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this one, I'm going to discuss about the Realme GT Neo 3 vs OnePlus 10R device. Which phone is really the best option to buy? I'm getting so many comments, friends, regarding these both phones, asking me to compare. And both phones, they do have the exactly similar specifications, exactly same. But there are a couple of things which are uh, slightly kind of different between these both phones. That's what I'm going to uh, discuss exactly in this video. So first thing is that the design has been slightly kind of changed in the OnePlus 10R. In case if you like this kind of boxy type of design, the OnePlus 10R might be the option for you because the realme gt neo 3 which is not that uh, boxy typed the sides are slightly kind of curved as you can see friends so little bit you can clearly see the sides are curved but in the oneplus 10r it's kind of uh, very boxy type of design you'll be getting in this device similarly like the xiaomi 11 ipad charge and other smartphones which we do have with the boxy type of design exactly like that you're going to get the side design some users they prefer this boxy type some users they prefer this one so it's up to the user uh, to decide as well i'm just trying to mention the differences so it's up to you to decide friends so design wise these are the difference you're going to notice and next thing is regarding the price wise price there is a huge difference between these both phones what they are actually offering right now the starting price of the realme gt neo 3 is about 37,000 rupees and 39,000 rupees for the OnePlus 10R. That's the starting price, 39 and 37. But there's a special discount is going on for the SBA debit card, credit card users. 7,000 rupees discount is applicable on the Realme GT Neo 3. 7,000 friends, that's a huge discount. I can definitely say that. So for 30,000 rupees, you can get the Realme GT Neo 3 device. But whereas the OnePlus 10R, it has got a discount of 2,000 rupees instant discount using icic credit card as you can see credit card and the debit card emi transactions as you can see friends 2000 rupees only so the final price will be about 37000 so that will be the final price and this final price will be about 30000 rupees so overall there will be a difference of close to 7000 rupees difference will be there between these both phones exactly 7000 for 7000 what you're getting in the one place is that slightly new design and apart from that software experience is going to be exactly similar friends not a huge difference you're going to notice because with the recent update of oxynos 12 as well in the oneplus nord 2 let me show you this is the oneplus nord 2 now it became completely kind of uh, color os thing only it's now it's the uh, old days are completely gone so before i used to always mention the stock cannot experience if you want to get oneplus is another alternate but now that is completely changed everything you're gonna see is only the realme and the color os thing in the settings and everything whatever you do everything all the options are completely similar nothing much has been changed as you can see you're gonna get exactly similar kind of experience as well the complete interface so interface everything is kind of close to very similar the wi-fi settings and everything a to z if you had to go to the display options as you can see friends so it's kind of very close to each other so you're not gonna get any kind of much difference regarding the ui and the software experience regarding the software updates so there's a couple of uh, quick notes i just want to mention so previously i used to think that oneplus used to be like pretty fast in giving the updates but with the oneplus not two it has been like three months without any updates yes three months you want below like two to three months not even single update the phone received the oneplus not two but during that time the realme phones like realme gt neo 2 and other smartphones that it did receive a lot of updates as well anyway so regarding the software updates also friends nowadays the realme phones are like slightly better fast because in this phone the android 12 i've been using from december from december i'm using this android 12 not only in that phone in a lot of other realme smartphones like realme gt neo 2 android 12 from december as well so many phones i'm trying to use from the december but just yesterday only i did install the android 12 in this oneplus Nord 2 like after four months three to four months the beta version this is not the stable one this is still the beta version so regarding the software updates thing this is situation at this moment regarding the updates which a lot of clarifying in case if you are thinking but my opinion will be there like seven thousand rupees that's a huge margin if there is one thousand two thousand maybe you can go for the one plus but seven thousand that's a significant change in, in terms of the amount of money so definitely friends i would uh, recommend go for the realme gt neo 3 and save that seven thousand rupees of money in case if you're looking after because everything is same like camera experience and display and the battery and the charging speed a lot of things gonna be same exactly and that's it friends thank you for watching and straight up more updates and regarding the 
design slight advantage but apart from that no other advantage software wise also nothing much major changes because if you try to compare battery backup between these both phones 4500 mAh 4000 mAh same color OS like Oxygen OS 12 and Realme UI battery backup used to be like same exactly not a huge difference so now it's nothing much huge difference friends the oneplus is not uh, anything kind of unique at this moment it's similar to the realme phones so that's the main reason why i'm asking you to choose like wisely in case if you're planning to buy one of the device meanwhile signing off friends i just want to convey my message for you all and definitely i'll be planning to buy the realme gt neo 3 not the oneplus 10r like 7000 rupees that's a huge investment i can definitely say that so let me know in the comments what you what are your thoughts on this one so which phone do you prefer for me i'll definitely prefer 7000 rupees because of the software experience is slow slightly kind of close to realme ui that's the reason i don't uh, require this oneplus phones anymore right now so let me know in the comments what are your thoughts and meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching and let's wait for more updates and bye